Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, to all my new viewers. Hey y'all, this DIY is a total Dollar Tree inspired jewelry box. You can view the finished product at the end of the video. This DIY came out way better than I expected. I'm so excited, it is so beautiful and unique. Thumbs up if you like my video and hello to all my new subscribers. So you take your first picture frame, pop everything out the back, separate the glass from the frame itself, and then you're gonna cut out a piece of fabric the size of the actual glass, and you're gonna hot glue that together. The frames I purchased came with these rectangular back supporters, so that was perfect for this DIY. So look out for those when you're looking for the actual frames. And then I got a piece of felt, I cut it to the size of the picture frame itself and I hot glued it together. Then I got my scissors and cut off any excess fabric from around the picture frame. Now you get your second picture frame and remove all of the four metal fasteners that's behind the picture frame. I replaced the glass into the picture frame and then I got my hot glue gun and I glued the four corners to affix that glass to the picture frame itself. I wanted my jewelry box to open and close. So when I went to Dollar Tree, I found some black foam sheets they had from Halloween and I decided to use that as a way to hold the two frames together so that I can open and close them as if it's a real box. So I used a total of four, two on each side, putting them where you see now, and I hot glued them together. So now we have all this glue in the back that's holding these two frames together. So I cut out two pieces of rectangular felt. I glued one piece in the back and one piece in the front. This also helped with the sturdiness of the actual um, frames holding up like an actual window. As you see, I'm not holding it, it's holding up by itself. So that was perfect for it. And then I got two of the gems and glued them to the very top part of the frame so that it can sit like this. Now you're going to take your third frame and glue it entirely to the box you just made with the first two frames. This is going to give that layer effect that I really liked. And while that sits on the side to dry, you take your fourth frame. And this is the bottom layer of the jewelry box where you're going to have a section for earrings or whatever you want to have. So I used some pieces of paper to figure out how I want my sections to be. It's not deep enough to put actual boxes inside, so I used wood dowels to simulate like sections at the bottom on the glass and then I got my fabric again cut out it a bit bigger than the actual glass is because you're going to hot glue that fabric to the glass but making sure to tuck it into the corners as it's drying with the fabric to really simulate small boxes. I hope you guys are really enjoying this video. I had a fun time making it. Make sure you stick around to see the actual finished product at the end of the video so you can see how gorgeous this thing really came out to be. Once I was done with the front half, then I took all that fabric and I hot glued it to the back piece of that glass. Next, I got me a piece of felt and I hot glued it to the back piece of that glass that I just finished with before with, with the wooden dowels on there. And then I placed it inside of that picture frame with the dowels facing upward so that it can simulate little sections or boxes for the bottom half of the jewelry box. Next, I hot glued four gems to the bottom of the picture frame to simulate little feet, little legs. And then I placed the whole stack on top of that last layer. And there you have it. That is how I created the layer effect. Next, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to hot glue the gems 
on to the second and third layer this is where the blingage comes in where i really was trying to figure out what to put here but this um right here is what i felt like to be the best part of this because at first i had no idea what i was going to do it looked so plain but i love it guys it looks so gorgeous and here is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed my DIY. Thank you guys for viewing. This idea came from me Googling jewelry boxes and seeing a stackable one on Pottery Barn. But that Pottery Barn price just wasn't right. And I was like, let me Dollar Tree this because that is a little bit too much money for some stackable wood. So yeah, this is how <laughs> this idea for me came about. I hope you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up up if you like this video and thank you for tuning in just watching it like even a little second means a lot because i really want people to see the things that i create and work so thank you guys have a good one